end a backlog of DNA crime kits led police to Arthur Sewell more than 20 years after a woman was killed. The I-team has obtained video of Sewell's interview with police. But I think you should hear us out first. I, I have yeah. no problem in hearing you out. I, 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 I don't have anything to hide. So. Two Metro Police detectives interview Arthur Sewell in January of 2018 about the unsolved murder of 20-year-old Nadia Iverson in 1997. That year, Sewell had been convicted for abusing his power as a Metro police officer after video showed him exchanging favors for sex acts. He resigned a few months before Iverson was murdered. You know her? Tiny girl, she's not very big. Her name is Nadia. No, no, sir. What the detectives reveal? They've connected a gun Sewell owned to the crime scene, and his DNA is a match. The investigation revealed Iverson may have been sexually assaulted, and the rape kit had finally been tested. And then that hit to your DNA. Really? Yeah. In several locations. For more than an hour, Sewell denies any involvement. This, our tool, and others. Yes, our tool. No joke. But this, our tool, left his DNA there. And a confession. He says he was going through tough times and had paid Iverson for sex. They headed inside a home under construction, shown in these never-before-seen crime scene photos. I never went out with the intention of shooting anyone. I went out for the, with the intention of sexual gratification. And when the 357 went off, it freaked me out. And I both did not panic. A couple of months later, Sewell was indicted for murder. Am I remorseful? Most definitely. On many levels. Arthur Sewell pleaded not guilty. A jury trial is set for November 4th. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Metro Police said they were looking into whether Sewell would be connected to other crimes at the time of his arrest. The I-team checked with the department today, in fact, and were told there are no updates at this time. Former police officer charged in a cold case admitted to killing a woman two decades ago, but now his confession can't be used in court. The IT first brought you video of that confession earlier this month. Vanessa Murphy is here now with the latest update. Brian and Denise, Nadia Iverson was killed in 1997, just left for dead in a home under construction. For more than 20 years, Arthur Sewell went under the radar. Just last year, he confessed to killing her, but jurors likely won't see this video we're about to show you. Am I remorseful? Most definitely. On many levels. Arthur Sewell describes accidentally shooting Nadia Iverson in Las Vegas in 1997. This was 2018. The state of Nevada tested decades-old rape kits, and these cold case detectives tell Sewell his DNA was a match to DNA found on Iverson, who they described as a 20-year-old woman with a drug problem working as a prostitute. They also tell him a gun he owned was connected to the crime scene. For more than an hour, Sewell denies involvement before he finally admits to killing her. I went out for the, with the intention of sexual gratification. And when the 357 went off, it freaked me out. And I both did not panic. Now Clark County District Court Judge Valerie Adair has ruled jurors shouldn't hear this confession. She points out Sewell should have been given Miranda. I think at this point in time, whether I'm here voluntary or not, I need a lawyer. Detectives kept questioning Sewell without an attorney. The court finds it was made clear Sewell could not leave despite statements like this. And you know the state is all voluntary. I mean, you get tired of it or you want to go, you know, you just let us know. The court also finds it was not clear Sewell could speak to his wife. He was promised a phone call after he talked with police. 
Sewell was arrested and charged with murder after the interview. He's pleading not guilty. The Clark County District Attorney's Office is appealing the judge's decision. Would it be fair to say that we've been decent with you, we haven't pressured you, we haven't intimidated you, yelled at you, been mean to you, threatened you in any way? That is correct. And a part of this case is Sewell's history as a Metro officer and whether he knows the law and that he didn't have to sit down with police there. He resigned from Metro a few months before Iverson was murdered. He had just been convicted for abusing his power as an officer for exchanging favors for sex acts. It was caught on video. We have a link to a previous story we've done on 8newsnow.com. All right, so Vanessa, what is the next step? Well, there's a status check in October, and the appeal was filed with the Nevada Supreme Court. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Thank you, Vanessa. Thanks. Adia Iverson's rape kit was one of the thousands of kits that waited decades to be tested. When it finally was tested, a former Metro police officer was a match. I spoke to Nadia's sister today, and she told me she never gave up hope that her sister's murder would be solved. But now she told me she has questions as to what Arthur Sewell may have been doing the 20 years he was a free man. Nadia's family is only speaking to Fox 5. And he, I have allowed this man to affect my life. Marie Coker is talking about this man, Arthur Sewell. I, it's, I can't do that no more. He's being charged in her sister, Nadia Iverson's murder. Arthur Sewell is a former Metro police officer. And as hard as it is to go through, I'm thankful that it's happening now. I'm thankful that at least we are getting answers so she can have justice, so there is hope. Marie has had to keep that hope for more than 20 years. In May of 1997, her sister, who was 20 years old, was found shot to death in a construction area. A rape kit was done. It was finally tested 19 years later in 2016. Arthur Sewell came back as a match. He was arrested in 2017. Nadia is always on my mind. I mean, she was my only sister. I mean, my family's hurting. Two months after Nadia's murder in 1997, Sewell was caught forcing women to do sex acts while he was on duty. He resigned later that year. In total, Arthur Sewell was a Metro police officer from 1992 to 1997. Somehow, got into the police force and he used what he signed up for for his own benefit not to serve others but to serve himself. Today Arthur Sewell was in court and a trial date was set for November. Marie Coker who lives in Pennsylvania wasn't there today but she told me you can count on her being there for every single day of the trial. I cannot wait to be in the room with him not in a bitter way but to finally face the man who's done this to my sister but also to face and say, you know what, in spite of what you've done, I choose to forgive you. Brian, a former police officer, nearly got away with murder. But tonight, Arthur Sewell learned his fate. And it's a story the 8 News Now investigators have been following. Vanessa Murphy has the update. Former police officer Arthur Sewell sentenced 6 to 15 years in prison for killing Nadia Iverson in 1997. I don't think there's enough justice. Um, there won't be enough time. Uh, surge that would take and bring her back to us. Marie Coker is Iverson's sister. She and her mother and Iverson's best friend wear shirts and bracelets in memory of Iverson as they attended Sewell's sentencing Tuesday. I've been praying and hoping that he would do best. Every day, every day, I prayed to God. That confession came more than 20 years after the murder. Old rape kits were tested. Police say Sewell was a match, and detectives questioned him in 2018. I went out with the, with the intention of sexual gratification. And when the uh, rape kit 7 went off, it freaked me out. And I both did not panic. Iverson's body was found in this downtown Las Vegas home under construction. Police said she had a gunshot wound and an investigation revealed she may have been sexually assaulted. The murder happened months after Sewell resigned from Metro. He was convicted for abusing his power as an officer after he was caught on video forcing women to perform sexual acts. This, Art Sewell and others, this are no, no. But this art tool left his DNA 
there. But the confession Iverson's mother had hoped and waited for would later be tossed out. A judge ruled the detectives violated Sewell's Miranda rights by questioning him without an attorney. In November, he pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter with use of a deadly weapon. He could be released in less than two years because of time he already served in jail. Iverson's loved ones say they plan on attending his parole hearings to make sure he stays behind bars to serve the full term. 15 years is not, not for anybody's life. And I wish he would have gotten more, but I'm going to make sure that he is staying in prison. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.